too long. Hey, can can you uh, explain your understanding about the empty and nothing? You know, you you put the yeah. two words together. What the different? What the same? Yeah. yeah so uh, emptiness is a verb. Okay, I have a bowl that had the everything in it. And so the act of surrendering is to relinquish ownership and responsibility of everything that is not you. So I just got to surrender ownership and just be the bowl. So that means when I accept that as a surrender, now I can be a verb to empty the bowl and let go. That's an act. That's an action that must be taken. I mean, you could wait for it to leave, but you really need to empty your bowl. You need to get on with it, perform that act. When that bowl is empty, then there's nothing in the bowl. That is a state of being, and it's a noun, and it's a reality. And then that is the transition into understanding that the nothing in the bowl also equates to the nothing of everything outside the bowl. You have no requirement to do anything or not do anything. There is no preordained path that must be taken or should be taken. Uh, nothing that has to follow except whatever it is that you decide from that moment needs to be done, if anything. So there's there's no carry forward. It is a complete moment of peace at a single point in time and space that does not need anything else. It needs nothing. It requires nothing. It simply is nothing. So it is a state of achieving or non-achieving, of complete letting go, because there are no hands to grasp anyway. So the surrender relinquishes the cognitive responsibility, the personal responsibility you feel to carry things with you. To empty is a verb, and then to be empty is to have nothing, but then the nothing also projects forward into nothing beyond this moment. There's nothing out there that can place a requirement on me here to be other than what I am here. All I have to be is to be. That's what we mean by nothing. No thing. No other thing. Just you reduced to a single point of self and ego and the universe is everything else. And somewhere in there, there's nothing. Nothing else except you, the point, and then the entire rest of the universe that is connected to you. And you are what completes the universe. Without you in that point, the universe is incomplete. So the universe needs you to be at that point and nothing else just you just to be so surrender empty nothing are states of mind they're steps in a journey they are processes but they're also nouns and realizations and they are connected in some way with intention the uh, to get to nothing is to unwind all of the things that are wrapped up around you the letting go of that the unwinding and then what you decide to do next is entirely up to you the universe doesn't have a specific plan it just says whatever you do is my plan for you that's what free will means the universe has created you in this moment to just be exactly who you decide to be. It's waiting to see. That is its plan, is to let you decide what you're going to be. 
it has nothing to say about it and everything to say about it if i can say it that way you know so that's what i mean by mm, surrender empty and nothing uh-huh 